Oh yeah. This is my new project boat here. An old Boston Whaler. Um, my neighbor used to fix up Boston Whalers and he used to have a whole fleet of these things and he just passed away. And uh, I actually inherited one of his old boats. He's been sick for a long time and hasn't been able to get out on the water for years. And uh, to my surprise, he left me with one of the boats. So I'm gonna do him justice and see if I can get this thing back on the water for him. I mean, it's a nice little boat for sure. It's just a mess, needs some cleaning up, some sanding, put some uh, fresh epoxy on it, but it's a whaler. So we should get it back to pristine condition. So the first step on this thing is just to get it cleaned up so I can really see what I'm looking at. This thing was full of leaves. It had been sitting out uh, in the open for several years. Um, there was some rotted wood panels in that I pulled out, hosed this thing out, cleaned the leaves out of it, just get it ready to take a look at. All right, so we got it hosed out. That's kind of the first step is really get a look at what we're dealing with here, the hull seems pretty solid. There's some pre repair work on it um, that's been done previously there, there, but the, the hull feels really solid. Um, the bench was rotted, the little bench seat, but that's easy to replace. Uh, this little cover was rotted, that's easy to replace. Um, that little seat there, we'll see what we want to do. We might put a little side console on this, but we'll, we'll see. Um, Next step, we're just gonna pressure wash this thing, get it cleaned up a little bit more, and make it fun to look at while we're working on it. So I failed to mention this is a 1971 13 foot Boston Whaler. And uh, we're starting to find that it's had quite a bit of repair work on it. Um, epoxy paint, I can see over gel coat. As we dig into it, we're gonna learn more about this boat. All right, got a pressure washed up. I'm gonna end up sanding this down all the way down to the uh, fresh gel coat into that a little bit. I'm gonna re-gel coat it. Uh, I think my next step is probably gonna be taking all the hardware off of this. Yeah, that'll be my next step. Do a little research on the boat. See if there's anything I need to know. These little cleats, little brass cleats. But yeah, the further I get into this, the better it looks. It's actually solid. It just needs uh, some lipstick on it. And we're gonna have to see if this motor runs or we can get this motor running. If not, we'll put a new motor on it. Maybe put a 25 on this thing, get it going. All right, I had a little debate here whether I should get the motor running before I take it off, or just take it off, get the boat refurbished, put it on, try to get the motor running. So I, I decided I'm gonna go ahead and take the motor off here without killing myself. All right, the motor's off. Uh, looks like my ne next step is gonna be this uh, rub rail. It's all dry, it's not dry rotted, but it's kind of, I don't think I'm gonna be able to clean this up. It's all deteriorated. Um, this is gonna cost several hundred dollars to replace, but it's a Boston Whaler. She deserves it. All right, first thing we gotta do is pull this rub rail rope out.
ropes out, we'll throw this in the rope pile. So I got the look in here at this rub rail and it's installed with rivets. Hopefully they're aluminum, uh, they might be stainless steel, but I'm gonna have to drill these rivets out to get this rub rail off, so I'm gonna go and do that next. All right, the rub rail is off. Now for the hardware. All right, we got all the hardware stripped off, the cleats. What's cool about these old Boston whalers is they have these little brass cleats, little through hole cleats. Um, got this little black, I have this little brass um, oar lock. We're just gonna leave that for now just to keep any water from getting in. All the hardware's off of it. There was some cleats going through here. Of course we had the, uh, the hooks step ladder motors off all right everything's off of this thing the rub rail all the rivets on the rub rail have been taken off the bow hook is off when i flip it i'll take this trim off we're getting there right, everything's stripped down got the dirt off the edges I'm gonna do a little experiment here to see what grit sandpaper I'm gonna to need to get this down. I'm thinking about taking this all the way down to the bare fiberglass, pull the whole gel coat off. I don't know, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Definitely gonna need something more aggressive to knock that down. Right now we got 60 grit, so let's give this a shot. Yeah, the 60 was still a little light. Um, we're going to try the, the 40 grit here, see how that works. Started with 80 grit, that didn't touch it. 60 grit didn't touch it. We finished this thing off with 40 grit to knock through that heavy epoxy. Um, knocked the whole boat down on the sides, flipped the boat over, and now we're going to start taking it off with 40 grit on a big heavy sander and just really knock the stuff down. So we've been working on this for quite a while. We've been doing a lot of sanding on it. Uh, this thing had, uh, it looked like a, a coat of fairing compound on it over the original hole, uh, gel coat over top of that, and then it had some epoxy paint over top of that. We pressure washed it, we chipped, we sanded, um, we dug out all the bad spots. These were filled with, like, it looked like Bondo. Some of it was some of this, like, epoxy type of, uh, resin filler there was some gouges and grooves so we're starting on the bottom of this thing um there's a little bit of uh, the keel damage here we're going to repair all that but everything is clean we sanded all around everything we have to repair so we're going to use some uh micro uh micro sphere with the polyester resin to kind of fill this in 
kind of in place of foam. And then we're gonna start laminating up these holes and get these built back. We're gonna sand it smooth. But you can see there was quite a bit of damage. But what's nice about this is if you look right here, unbelievable, this hole, the foam is dry as a bone. So whatever he did worked for a long time. Um, and we're just gonna make everything better. When we get done with this thing, it's gonna be like brand new. So let's get to work. All right, so we got most of the fiberglass hard work done. Remember we had this big hole here. We filled that in. Um, we used UV Cure resin, uh, six ounce fiberglass cloth. We did, I don't know, say six layers of that, but underneath we used some uh, Q-Cell micro beads mixed 50-50 with polyester resin to fill that void. It's kind of a, makes a nice lightweight filler, almost a fairing compound, but uh, it's lightweight, dries hard. We patched up all these holes, patched up the gouges, put glass on the gouges that were deep. You see that here? So it's coming together. I tell you what, that UV cure resin is really nice. It works great. You uh, put it on, take it out. You can three minutes. You can put another layer on, take it out. So you see right here, this is the hole that we were showing you how how dry that foam was. You can see how we've layered up that glass. You know, it's not perfect, but we're gonna come back and fair this thing out. And just taking our time with this thing, making it good. Still a little bit of a gouge there, but that's gonna fill with fairing compound. It's really just a scratch in the surface. These two, so not a big deal. Here's a deeper hole, but we're gonna fill that with the fairing compound. Some keel work, All right? We had a big gouge on the keel. And actually, this section of the keel had a pretty good crack in it. Like it hit something hard and kind of cracked that. But you can see here, we've layered this up with that six ounce cloth. We're gonna come down and sand everything down, make it nice and smooth. Then we're gonna fair this whole entire hull out. Yeah, so this is gonna wrap up episode one. I know it was a long episode, but this is a long project. It's like whittling a stick. Just keep whittling away at it and you're going to get a sharp point. So that's what we're doing on this thing. So make sure you subscribe, share. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. I'll uh, let you know I'm mad. I'll answer your questions the best I can. Um, I've got a lot of cool projects on the channel too. I think the next part, we're going to start fairing the bottom of this thing out and uh, see where it goes from there. So from Stonebroke Adventure, until next time, bloop.